The amazing thing is that after Judy Garland made her triumphant movie comeback in this film, winning numerous awards for it from all over the world and an Oscar nomination, it was seven years before she made another movie. And that was a small role she did in Stanley Kramer's 1961 drama, Judgment in Nuremberg. Now, Judy had been offered many scripts, one of them being Carousel, the plan being for her to co-star in it with Frank Sinatra. She was also offered, like, The Three Faces of Eve, which ended up winning an Oscar for Joanne Woodward. But for one reason or another, plans for other Judy Garland films between 1954 and 1961 never did work out. By the way, if you'd like to learn more about the man we're honoring tonight, costume designer Jean-Louis, who with Marianne Nyberg and Irene Sheriff did Judy's wardrobe for this film, he's one of the many costume designers covered in an interesting new book titled Creating the Illusion. The book is an extensive look at 65 of the great people who designed movie costumes over the years, Jean-Louis being one of the best. And the same year that he, Marianne Nyberg, and Irene Sheriff received Oscar nominations for A Star is Born, he was also nominated for the clothes he designed for another Judy, Judy Holiday, in our next film, which is also from 1954 and was also directed by George Cukor. Coming right up. TCM brings 